Hey everybody! I am so sorry I'm late today. Oh my goodness. Hopefully you guys are going to find me. I will tell you what I was doing. It was very interesting. Luckily I was all set up and ready to go ahead of time. Let's see. Am I in the right place? I see a few of you jumping on. Thank you for finding me. Oh, so I was late. Hi, Tracy. Yeah, so um, I am doing a webinar for Stampin' Up! on Thursday for Stampin' Up! demonstrators. And today we had our rehearsal. And uh, we got to just gabbing and talking. And, <laughs> and then suddenly I realized, oh my goodness, we're not going to be done in time for my life. And it's funny because our webinar that we're training on is uh, social media. So I told them, you guys, I cannot be late. I'm already late. And here I am teaching about social media. So I apologize. I don't like being late. I'm not a late person. But anyway, let's get started. Hello, everybody. I see you all jumping on and saying hello. Um, so today's card is really fun. I have to tell you, um, the product of the week this week for me is from the Celebration Catalog, page 13. So hoppy together. Have you guys gotten this yet? The only way you can get it is free. You can only get it for free and only when you spend $50. And he's pretty popular. He was probably my favorite out of the whole catalog when I first took a run through it because it's super cute. Um, there's been lots of funny things that have happened with these frogs online. And um, so honestly, when I sit down to design, if I've seen a ton of examples already online, it's hard for me because I want to do something totally unique and something that hasn't been done before. So then my mind is just thinking of all the things that have been done. So this card was actually kind of an afterthought after I had designed for my projects this week and I was very excited about it. Um, I'm also using, let's see, I'm also using a new set in the occasions catalog called Itty Bitty Birthdays. If you have not seen it, it's a really cute one. There's some little clever sayings in there. And then also Abstract Impressions, which is from the annual catalog. It was really popular in the summer when the um, annual catalog first came out. So that's what I'm using. And um, we're making a Viewmaster card. Um, do you guys remember the little Viewmaster toy? Um, when we were kids, you'd put it up and you'd you know, click it and the little thing would turn. So that's what this is called. And when I had the idea, I couldn't even remember. I've made these cards before and I couldn't even remember what it was called. And so I had to search around and then I remembered it's called View Mastered. So that's what we're going to do. Um, thank you, Michelle, for sharing. I'm going to give away a host set for, uh, I'm going to enter everybody who shares the video in a drawing for, what's it called? Seasoned with Kindness. And I will give that away on Friday's live. So if you feel so inclined and you'd like to win this, please share the video. All right, I think, oh, I guess I should show you. Okay, watch. Look at the little, little flies and look at him, he's so excited. He's looking at the flies. Now, one thing I did is I realized, I think my flies are flying backwards, <laughs> I think. So today when I stamp this, we're gonna try to make those flies flying the right way. I guess if I go like that, they're flying in the right direction. Okay, let's go ahead and stamp. I'm gonna turn the camera around and I will say that my light isn't even adjusted for what I normally do. So if you will just hang tight for just a second. Oh no, don't rotate. Oh my goodness, you guys. We'll edit that out. We'll pretend that never happened. That you didn't see right up my nose like that. All right, so here we go. Close your eyes. Hold on, keep them closed because I gotta readjust this light for just a second. All right, I think we're getting we're getting closer. If I don't shake you guys too much, and then let's see if the light will come on. And are we are we good? Okay, I think we're good. Phew. I get rattled when I am not on my schedule and I'm not on my routine and things don't go as planned. I just, I get rattled, you guys. Right. More time so that that is closer to me. All right. 
Good, Gail, you like the stamp set? I like it too. So here he is. And originally I had made the card like this, which is cute, right? He's cute. But then I, I started thinking, and I had had that idea with the little flies. And I like this guy because he's got his hands up. Like he's like trying to catch them. So that's what we're gonna do, okay? Okay, whew. Let's see, where do we wanna start? Now there's different ways to make a Viewmaster card. And when I made this on Sunday, I kind of winged it. And I'm trying, I've been thinking, do I wanna show you guys how I wing it or the proper way? So maybe we'll do both. So I'm gonna start out with a piece of Whisper White. That is, and then you know what? This All this information's on my blog and I'm just, as I'm talking to you, realize I put all the products, but I did not put the measurement. So I will go back and do that. This is, I believe, three and three fourths by five, this white. And then I, with my layering circle dies, I cut out a Whisper White circle and a Whisper White scallop circle. And I used the biggest ones in the set, the biggest solid circle and the biggest scallop circle. Let me turn that fan off so that that camera doesn't roll. So here we're gonna use the, the regular white one as kind of our guide. And I'm gonna fold it in half and fold it in half again. Let's see. That's gonna give us a center point. But it's also going to give us kind of the, the little quads of where we wanna stamp. And I, this is where I think I could kind of wing it. I think with these little bitty flies, you may not even need to do this next part, but I'm gonna show you. Because if you're doing, if you're making this card with something else and you want them exactly centered, this is how I would do it. I'm gonna take, I took my one inch circle punch and just a scrap of paper. And I'm going to take these and I'm gonna put them on here with a glue dot so that they are centered. All right, if you try to take your punch and just stick it in there and try to center it, nine times out of 10, it's not gonna work. So if you do this, then you're gonna have a guide. It's gonna tell you exactly where the center is. This may be a little too anal retentive, but we're gonna do it, okay? because these little flies are kind of wonky and it doesn't really matter. All right, so remember, this is just our guide. So I'm gonna take my one inch circle now and I'm gonna punch those out. And that's gonna give me a little window in the middle of my circle. That is exactly in each little quadrant, okay? So now we're, what we're gonna do our stamping on is actually the little scallop circle. I also have to show you the flies in this stamp set. Here they are. There's three of them. Well, three of them were just a tiny bit too big for the circle. So I cut them apart. Now don't panic, you guys. They can just go right back together if you wanna cut them apart. Look, you can put them back on your block just like that, and there you have it. It's like a little puzzle. I've told you guys this before, don't panic. But if you can't stand to cut your stamps apart, then don't do it. Just put um, a post-it note, like mask it off, okay? All right, so I'm gonna take this. And you know what I'm actually gonna do here? Mm, I didn't do this last time. Okay, no, I'm not gonna do that. I was gonna put a glue dot in the middle. You know what we can do? Because we're also gonna use this to find the center point in our circle for our brad. You guys, I'm not looking, I'm not reading your comments, I'm sorry. Don't think I'm ignoring you, I'll come back and look. So the center point, because we folded it in half and in half again, that's gonna show us exactly where we need to put our little brad right there, okay? So what I'm trying to decide is that, now I'll just hold it, because when I did it on Sunday, I had a hard time with this paper flopping around. I was like, well, maybe if we held it in place, but I think it'll be fine. Okay, so I've cut my two flies apart, and now here's the thing I gotta remember. Where's my grid paper? We need to have the flies flying the right way. So on this card, I had them flying this way, but instead, they need to be flying counterclockwise, all right? 
All right, so I'm gonna just take it with Memento and stamp them flying counterclockwise. I think I might be putting a little too much thought into this, but you know, we want our flies to be flying in the right direction. Okay, so see how I did that in the middle of each of those circles? There. Now, when we have the hole on our card, it's gonna go around like this, and I didn't like that little white space so now I'm gonna take that little single fly that was all by himself and I'm just gonna stamp him in between the other two. All right, like one more right there. Okay, now that is just your basic stamping for your View Master card. I really challenge you guys to go take a look at your stamps when we're done here and see what other stamps would be really cool to create this movement on your card. This would be a fun card for a child or for somebody who just thinks it would be really kind of fun. All right, now we're gonna punch a circle right here and we want it to be not too close to the edge I can see my um, flies there. So I'm thinking about where I wanna punch that circle. And I'm gonna take that little, remember that little brown circle from the beginning. And I'm going to, you just pick it up, look at where your flies are, because you want them centered in that circle. And I'm gonna put it right there on my Whisper White piece. And punch that out. Mm, that looks close to the edge, but I think it's gonna be okay. All right, and see how it's gonna go through there? So cute. Oh good, my flies are going the right direction. <laughs> okay, so let's stamp this and then we'll be able to put it all together. Now I brought in the Abstract Impressions stamp set. Have you guys used this one yet? Um, you may not have used it recently. Uh-oh my um, stamp just fell off the block. If that happens, you guys, if your stamps stop being sticky, go run them in the sink with some um, Dawn dish soap and they will be like new. I noticed that on Sunday, I meant to wash mine. All right, so abstract impressions and what I like to refer to as the fat grass, we're gonna do in granny apple green like that. And then we're gonna do the skinny grass in lemon lime twist. And I was noticing, you know, it's not really light enough. They almost look the same. So I'm gonna stamp off and then stamp again. That way I have a little bit of a, a lighter grass with the skinny grass. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna, of course, because, you know, now that we're done with the holidays, I can bring out, oh no, y'all are freezing. Uh oh, well, the, the, um, when I load it back up after I'm live, it will be perfect, I promise. I got new internet yesterday too, you guys, 400 mega something per something, and it's supposed to be really good. So don't tell me I'm freezing up or that guy's gonna have to come back out here. All right, now, um, Highland Heather, now that we're done with the holidays, I'm all about the bright springy colors again, especially the purples. All right. That's, those are all from Abstract Impressions. Now, it's blurry. Well, boo, I'm sorry, you guys. Hang with me, hopefully it'll clear up. It's just probably an internet issue. Now this is the, I keep wanting to call it teeny tiny, but they're itty bitty birthdays. And then, I did that in Highland Heather. Then we've got some Gingham Gala designer series paper. And you guys, I use this on three out of four projects this week and it's on back order. So if you don't have it yet, you can still order it. It hasn't been turned off, but it's gonna take a couple of weeks, okay? Because it's so cute and so popular. Then I got a Highland Heather piece and I used the border from this, the, um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, what's the word meant to be? Nope. Be Mine, there we go, Be Mine Stitched Framelits. It's a little border piece and I can't stop using it. Look how cute it is. It's so cute. All right, now where is my adhesive? Oh goodness. All right, well we'll use Snail 
because my fast fuse has gone somewhere. This I'm going to adhere overlapping like that. I can't remember. Did I put it? Yeah, I put it up. Scallop border up. All right. Now, once we have this piece all set up, we're going to put our little view master scallop circle in and then we'll color our frog. How pretty is that? Oh, I love it. It's like Easter. All right. Now we had this. We're going to line it up. We want this part to be out just a little bit, but you don't want it up here. So make sure when you punch that circle, uh-oh, UPS is here. You know what that means. Hopefully, hopefully it won't stop. Hopefully it won't stop. Okay, good. He's going. Oh, oh, he's stopping. Charlie's coming to say hi. Go outside. Go. Go outside. It never fails. It never fails. All right. Sorry to all of you whose dogs and cats are going crazy. Charlie likes to make me lose my mind during the day. All right, so line it up, flip it over, keep it in line. Take your, take your pick tool and poke that in. Ooh, I might have made it a little bit too big. Then get a brad, and we've got a selection of brads now in our annual catalog. It doesn't matter which one you use because you're actually gonna cover it up. No, Charlie, he's not here for you. All right, now here's the true test. It works, beautiful, and they're flying the right direction. Hey, go! They knew better than to come all the way over here. All right, what do you guys think? So cute, right? Now we need to color in our little flies. I probably should have done that ahead of time. I'm just gonna use some pineapple punch to, I don't know what color a fly would be, except gray, and that's boring. So maybe these are fireflies with the little yellow bottoms. This is uh, not Daffodil Delight, I'm using pineapple punch. There we go. I like it. All right, now I've noticed right here, I've got kind of a, a weird edge going on. My big paper cutter, I have a big paper chopper. It's on its last leg. I have a new one coming, but seems like I've been waiting forever for that thing to get here. All right, now we're going to put this on dimensionals. And um, I think I did it backwards on the sample. Where's my sample? No, I did it right. You can do Highland Heather or Gorgeous Grape, whichever layers you want to do. And I'm going to put these dimensionals here in the corners. Like that. Let's make sure. Okay. And then we're going to put it down on the Highland Heather piece that is just a little bit bigger. And I'll go back and edit my post with these measurements as soon as I'm done. And then... Put this on the gorgeous grape card base right in the middle and now the only thing missing is our cute little frog so the frogs there's three frogs in the set and I really like this guy because he's got his hands in the air and he's super excited about those flies flying around his head so I don't care that he's on a unicycle in my card he's just gonna be jumping up all right just because he's on a unicycle doesn't mean he has to stay on a unicycle. And I am using Granny Apple. Let's see. Now, like I said, you can go over to my blog. I need to start with light, sorry. I'm talking to myself. Um, so I'm gonna start with the light Granny Apple green. You can go over to my blog. I'm gonna update that post. It already has the photo and it has the products listed. Um, I did not put the measurements because I forgot, so I'll go over there and do that. Um, also, I have listed this week's host code. So on Fridays, I do a Facebook Live where I do three more projects, and they will all be the So Hobby Together stamp set this week. And, sorry, his arms are really skinny. I have to hold my breath while I color them. There we go. Um... And so there's a new host code. If you want to put in an order this week, uh, you need to use that host code and I will send you Friday's make and takes for free. And I will show you a sneak peek in a minute of those projects. They're really cute. 
All right, I'm gonna take my dark granny apple and I'm gonna go just kind of along his left side and under his mouth. That's gonna create some shadow. Blending it all in with my light. I want him a little bit darker on that left side. And the top of him needs to be the lightest because that's where the light would be coming. All right, I think that's good. You could color him several ways and we'll talk a little bit more about that on Friday. But your options are Stampin' Blends, um, watercolor pencils, uh, the um, Aqua Painter and your classic inks, your blender pen and your classic inks. You can also stamp him on green, one of the green card stocks or yellow or purple or whatever color you want him to be. And then you can cut him out and he'll already be one color. So there's lots of ways. Also, we have brusho, which if you like brusho, you could do that. There's just really a ton of ways. And I actually colored him, I stamped him and colored him in all of those ways. And you know which way I ended up liking the most was the, um, the watercolor pencil, the Granny Apple Green watercolor pencil, or maybe it's Lemon Lime Twist. It's one of the pencils that is only available in the kit. And I really liked it. And I think because he's small, and it kind of gives you better control. Um, and I used the Aqua Painter. But I do like the blends. I'm always gonna choose the blends, I think, because they're easy, easier, and they, they just color so well. His legs are pretty skinny, so you have to use just the very tip of your uh, Stampin' Blends. Now I am fussy cutting. So, you know, if you don't like fussy cutting, I'm so sorry. You could do them on a circle if you wanted. Now, Sarah is saying, I actually stamped them on Glimmer. You know what, I saw somebody else do Glimmer, have stamped the frog on the Glimmer and it was so cute. So yes, that's another great idea, Sarah. All right, so now we're gonna put him here so that he covers that brad. I mean, the brad is fine, but let's cover it. And then we're done. Look at that. Right there, look, he's trying to jump up for those flies. I just think that is so fun. Such a fun, I don't know who started this card technique, I guess you would call it, many years ago, but it's just so fun. And when I see a stamp set that can be used to create movement on a card, it's really fun. All right, what do you guys think? Fun? Can you give it a try? Look at your stamps, see what can move. It could be anything really, it could be words that go around, because I did think about stamping the hay in one of the frames, right? That would be really kind of fun. All right, now I'm gonna show you, which one do I wanna show you? I have all three of them sitting here for Friday, but I don't wanna give them all away. How about this one, okay. I saw a card online that was some other frogs, some other companies stuff, and I was like, I've gotta make that. Okay, ready? There they are, look at them, so cute. I'm gonna show you how easy this card is on Friday. Okay, that's your sneak peek. So join me on Friday at two o'clock over on Pink Buckaroo Stampers group. That's my group page. Right here you're on my business page. And so Friday, over on my group page, everybody's welcome. It doesn't matter who you are, come join. You gotta click join. It doesn't matter, you're all welcome. Um, so then on Friday, I'll do an hour long Facebook Live with three more projects featuring our little frog dudes. I'm gonna show you different ways to color them on Friday. All right, all right, you guys. Thanks for joining me, thanks for waiting for me. Oh, I was frazzled. I don't like to be late. I'm gonna go back and look. Lemon Lime Twist, Janet. It is Lemon Lime Twist, isn't it? That pencil that's in the kit, one of the kits. It's the only way you can get it. I was thinking it was Granny Apple. It's pretty close. 
Do I have those right here? I would show you guys. Let's see. Do I have them? I don't know where they are. Hmm. I hope I didn't throw those away because they were really cool, Different the different ways to color them. All right, you guys, I will see you on Friday. Uh, make sure you click. When I'm done, I'll put the link to my group page up here um, in the description and join me on Friday. And I'll add the host code too if you want to order so you can get Friday's make and takes for free. Have a great day. Stay warm, you guys. Those of you that are up north, stay warm. Wait, I have a question. Hold on, I see a question. Let's see, I saw it on my phone. Where did it go? Hold on. My to-go classes. Can you purchase both to ship to save on shipping? Debbie, you know what? Sometimes I do combine shipping on my classes, but the problem with that is that I do such a large volume, it's hard for me to remember who wants me to hold their class back because I will ship them about a week and a half apart. Um, and also, they won't all fit in the envelope together. And so then you're basically gonna pay double shipping anyway because I have to ship them in something bigger. So sometimes when I can fit them in an envelope, I will. Um, and, and it'll be in the as an option, but not this time. All right, you guys, stay warm and I'll see you Friday. Bye.